All right, whenever you guys are ready. All right, Coach, so uh, what's it like so far being at Rutgers? Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, to me, it's the best place in, in the world, college football right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so blessed the coach gave me an opportunity. And good fun yeah. working with these guys. Got a great room, great group of guys on the O-line. Uh, got some talent. It's been fun so far. Love it. And how hard is the transition from being a head coach to going to a position coach? Um, there's, there's some things you got to get used to, uh, like not making the schedules and things like that. But uh, you know, when things go wrong, my phone doesn't ring anymore. It's Coach Ash, so <laughs> I let him handle that stuff. And uh, it's been great just just handling the five bigs and working with those guys every day. It's been really great. Was that a tough thing for you to move from being a head coach, position coach? I mean, I know that's a big step up in the level. I think anytime you join a staff, you just want to make sure you're in alignment with the head coach. And, and I think Coach Ash and I really have have similar philosophies. And, you know, I really respect him. He's a great football coach and great guy. He's really good to our players. And I really, I, you know, that's always been a thing when I was a head coach that I wanted to be good to my guys, fair and firm, and he certainly is. And, you know, I just knew he was in great alignment, so it was pretty easy to make that decision. It was your first scrimmage. You got to see your guys all play at once together. Just for your initial impressions of them. Sort of play. I mean, we, we have a bunch of guys out with illness right now, but uh, great. I mean, our guys have worked hard. You know, they, they play hard. They work hard, and we had some successes in there. And we got some things we got to work on, and we got to fix some things. But uh, they're really working hard. I think at the end of 15 practices, you'll see a totally different group of guys. They've really been working together, and, and that's always important for the big guys up front. Would you like to have a solid starting five by the end of spring camp? What are your goals? To oh, yeah. To yeah we're, I think we'll have a starting five, and hopefully, you know, we're, what we're looking for is a pair and a spare, you know, at each position. So if we get two tackles and a guy that can go in and play and a, you know, two guards and then one, you know, two centers, I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah, I think that's what we're looking for right now. I think we're close. I think we got some really good, talented guys, and they've done a good job of recruiting. And, you know, the guys in the room are hard workers, and. You know, that's always the most important part. Are they attentive? Are they hard workers? And are they going to do what you ask them to do? And, and these guys are doing that so far. From a philosophy standpoint, do you like to move guys around different spots in the line or different sides or just keep them in one place? It's always good to have to have guys that can do multiple positions. It, it obviously it helps with depth and it helps with get, giving those guys an opportunity to get on the field when, when the opportunity comes. But yeah, guys are doing that. Right now we're just focusing on on the positions because we're doing some different things technique wise than they've done in the past. So we're just going to let them focus on a position and then in fall camp we'll move around a little bit. A guy of junior college guy, Omari Cooper, joined you guys in January. What have you seen out of him so far in his adjustment to? I haven't really seen a ton of him yet. He's only practiced three times. Um, again, a great worker, great young man, uh, listens, he's smart. You know, he's getting used to this life of a Big Ten football player right now as far as the com time commitment and the commitment to the weight room and off season and all the stuff that we're doing. Uh, but he's a great kid and, and I, I see athletic ability to play at this level. Uh, we just got to see it in our offense and, and on a more consistent basis. You're a local guy and I, you told the story at, during the national signing <coughs> that you camped here at Rutgers and you obviously didn't come play here, but is it nice to have it come full circle, camp here and now you're coaching here? It's been great, yeah, I mean, I got family in the area. My high school coach lives in Somerset right here, so I get to see those guys all the time, and it's, it's been a great homecoming for me. But, you know, most important, we want to get Rutgers, you know, back where it should be, which is, you know, in a bowl game and, you know, competing for, for a Big Ten championship. Local guy, you recruited here when you were at Central Connecticut State. How much do those connections help in, on the trail? Great, yeah, I got great friends that are high school coaches in the area. The one thing they know is if I walk into their high school, they're going to get the truth. They're going to get up front. They're going to get honest. They know that. And, you know, again, I've been, I've been down here 20 years recruiting and, and as an assistant and a head coach. So those guys know who I am. They know when our kids, their kids come to the program that I'm in, they're going to be taken care of. Anything else, guys?